Here with Reaction, author of the brand new best selling book, The Puppeteers, The People Who Control the People Who Control America, Fox News contributor Jason Chaffetz, <laughs> along with former senior advisor to President Clinton, Mark Penn, is with us. By the way, Jason, I love the book. You know, I find these positions interesting of, of Robert F. Kennedy Jr. I really do. Um, and one, he's against biological men playing in women's sports. I agree with him on that. You heard his comments on the border. I agree with him on that. And you know what? Whether you agree or disagree with his position on vaccinations, at least he had the courage to stand apart and speak his mind. Uh, and he had a ton of critics. And I admire people that are willing to go against the great. Yeah, no, look, I totally agree, uh, Sean. I, I think that's right. I think com compassion, authenticity, they win the day. You can't fake those things. And, and what Robert, uh, what Kennedy Jr. Is, is, is exemplifying is he's going out to the border. He's talking to real people. He's holding his own camera at 2 o'clock in the morning saying the, the, the border is broken. And surprise, surprise, common sense actually makes sense to a lot of people, even some of those Democrats. And once they learn to read and write, Sean, guess what? But they're going to start going and doing to people like Kennedy who actually, you know, walk the walk and get out there. Amazing how that actually works. No, it is. You know, Mark Penn, I, I look at this and I know you were a pollster for the Clintons for a long time. And you, I think, agree with me that the Democratic Party has swung really far to the hard left. Um, so far, they've been able to sustain it. Um, I think ultimately it's unsustainable because I don't think these policies work. Your thoughts? Well, I think that we're going to see what happens with this nomination right now, because I think Biden is only getting, in my poll, about 40 percent of the Democrats. He's got to improve his numbers. A lot of people think he has moved too far to the left. And so if by September he doesn't improve his numbers, Kennedy moves up. I think you'll see two or three governors get in this race and you'll have a real Democratic primary. All right. This so president you, so is you vulnerable. Agree with me. Hold on. Can he do it? Well, who are the other? Do you agree with me? Look, if I had Gavin Newsom's phone right here in front of me, I would guarantee you he's getting dozens of text messages from prominent Democrats and donors saying, please, Gavin, get in this race and run. Do you disagree with that? And if you and let me know if you do. If not, who do you think the other governors are? Oh, I, I completely agree. I, I, and I think the governor of Illinois and the governor of Michigan, I think those three governors are poised to run in the Democratic Party. Maybe even AOC will get in. You know, I think this could really become a wide open primary. Wow. OK. Yeah. Um, will the party going hard left hurt them in the end? Look, I think the party's got to come back to the center. I think this budget deal was a move to the center. If it's going to win, the Democratic Party's got to move the, to the center. And I think the party that is in the center in this election will be the one that wins. All right. We appreciate it. Uh, by the way, thank you, Mark Penn. And also, uh, congratulations. It's the new book, uh, The Puppeteers, The People Who Control the People Who Control America. Amazon.com, Hannity.com, bookstores everywhere. Jason, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.